Rooster loved to dance. He heard that Heron was throwing a big party for all the birds. Rooster wanted to look his very best on the dance floor, so he spent hours grooming his feathers. On the way to the party, Rooster came upon a ripe tomato in the middle of the road. He was starving, so without thinking, he gobbled it down. Some juice from the tomato spattered on Rooster's feathers. Oh, no, he cried. I cannot go to the party looking like this. At the side of the road, there was some grass. Rooster asked, Grass, would you please clean my feathers so that I can go to Heron's party? Not now. I am too busy, grumbled Grass. Rooster walked on until he saw a cow. Cow, he asked, would you please eat grass who won't clean my feathers so that I can go to Heron's party? Not now. I am too busy, said Cow crossly. Rooster looked down and saw a stick. Stick, he asked, would you please poke Cow who won't eat grass? who won't clean my feathers so that I can go to Heron's party? Not now. I am too busy, snarled Stick. Rooster continued down the road until he came to a river. River, he asked, would you please carry away Stick, who won't poke cow, who won't eat grass, who won't clean my feathers so that I can go to Heron's party? Not now. I am too busy, roared River. Rooster began to fret. He thought he would never get to the party. But then he looked up and saw Sun. Sun, he asked, would you please dry up River, who won't carry away stick, who won't poke cow, who won't eat grass, who won't clean my feathers so that I can go to Heron's party? It would be my pleasure, exclaimed Sun. So Sun began to dry up River. River began to carry away Stick. Stick began to poke Cow. And Cow began to eat grass. Just then, Grass yelled, Please stop eating me. I will gladly clean Rooster's feathers. As soon as Rooster's feathers were clean, he was on his way. When Rooster strutted into the party, the other birds cried, My, Rooster, how fine you look! Rooster had a grand time at the party. He danced all night. Rooster wanted to thank Sun. He knew he would never have gone to the party if Sun had not helped him. The next morning, Rooster crowed, cock a doodle doo to wake up Sun. And to this day, Rooster wakes Sun up every morning.